I want to talk about this. This is a thing I want to touch upon just loosely. But this is regarding Jack Harlow's Pitchfork album review and the rating that his album got and why I think it's unfair in relation to the recent update or recent release of Kendrick Lamar's new album and the score that Pitchfork gave it. So, Jack Harlow's recent album that came out that's called Come Home, The Kids Miss You, which I think is a terrible album name for an artist at his stage of his career, you know, knowing that he hasn't got any kids and stuff, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, they gave it a 2.9. Then recently, Kendrick Lamar's album came out after, what, a five, six year hiatus, probably one of his most personable, introspective, raw albums to date. It deals with a myriad of issues, especially within the black community. It really strips bare himself, his family, his relationships, his battles with adultery and sex addiction, like many, many things in there. Really good album. Some of the tracks on there are really amazingly done. The one he's got where he's arguing with the other girl um, is incredible. Um, if it legitimately feels like you shouldn't be listening to it. The whole album feels like that. It feels like an, a, a big therapy session. A really great album with some amazing musical moments here and there. I would say after a five-year hiatus, that should be a, at least a high eight, if not a nine. But of course, Pitchfork gave it a 7.6. So if I'm Jack Harlow and I'm part of his team, for all the trolling he's been getting online, which I, which again, I don't think is constructive because I legitimately do think, as he said in one of his, like, what's that bar he's got like? Um, I think it's in Churchill Downs. Um, they, I'm inevitable. They, something about him being inevitable or something about he's going to be around you for a long time. I forgot what the bar is. But he is inevitable and you know he's going to be here for a long time because what we know, first of all, he's got the look in terms of being a handsome guy, obviously being white is definitely going to help because there's not many white rappers out who are good. So if he's halfway decent, it's going to allow him to propel his career to a certain extent. Um, he carries himself well. He's clearly somebody that everybody in the industry likes as a person because he's friends of all the right people. Um, he's got the right tone of voice. That's something that I always really am um, strongly hung up on tone of voice with rappers. There's certain rappers, uh, one example that always comes to mind straight away is Big Sean, an expert with a pen, an absolutely, you know, top tier MC for the guys that you rate nowadays. Like if you was going to rate and put a top 50 of rappers, you know, around in the industry now, you definitely have to put Big Sean's name there. But that voice, that weasel, nasally, DSP-ish type voice, I just absolutely hate and can't stand. To the, to the point where his albums sound annoying to me because it's just obviously him on his albums talking. So on the single, not too bad. But if it's an album, it's terrible. And maybe, who knows, other people also feel the same way about his voice than I do. I necessarily I don't think it's to do that. I think it's his inability to put together a good body of work. He's got great singles and great mixtapes, but his albums usually always fall flat to me, Big Sean. But that's one of the reasons why he I think he hasn't been that successful. And I think Jack Harlow has that voice, has that tone in spades. So all he has to do is now do I think the easy part. Because those things are things I think you can't really control. You can't control how good looking you are. You can't control how you carry yourself. You can't control being liked by people, you know, because it's kind of industry stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it's not really you that's going to decide it. They have to say, oh, yeah, you're the next guy. And then kind of all come and suck your dick. So all these things that he can't control, he's already got in him. The things that he can control in terms of putting together better songs, in terms of crafting them or the construction of them in a way that maybe sounds better to the ear, a way of sequencing the album, because the sequencing, I think, is all over the place, and maybe a real, real forensic level of um, self, what's that thing called? self-analysis and dissecting of the album because a lot of it should be cut away some fluff here and there like one of the tracks that i'm always going to stick out i think was a real misstep was this track here by pharrell called movie star the front of the the the, the beginning half of the track is pretty mediocre and not really you know um a track that you or production you'd, you'd kind of expect from pharrell williams but then the end of it is classic pharrell williams it really goes to some interesting places like, doo -doo -dum -dum. like it goes in some mad places right that should have been the majority of the track. That should have been at the front and then the other bit should have been at the back. Little tweaks like that would have helped it. Um, I think the sequencing of it was completely all over the place. I think the first five or four tracks kind of sound like they're all one track, if that makes any sense. Maybe that was on purpose. I don't really like how that get done, so I would have maybe cut it up a little bit more. I think Churchill Drought Downs came way too late in the whole entire album that might have maybe set the album for me if that was me or ended it i think it came way too far down the list for 
for such a big track, especially considering it was one of maybe Drake's standout verses in a very, very long time. Um, the, the track with Justin Bieber, with Justin Timberlake, Throw It Out The Window, he's completely washed musically nowadays. The track with Point with Lil Wayne should obviously have been a higher two. Nail Tech, I Don't Mind. Um, I, I Don't Mind, I Got A Shot. No, I Don't Mind Little Secret. Little Secret might have been one of my um, favourite ones too, and also maybe Side Piece. Um, but overall, there's a few tracks on here that are just mediocre. Do you know what I mean? But I don't think it's mediocre enough to say it's a 2.9 it might be a five but i think a 2.9 is clearly people with the industry who maybe don't like the fact that he's being promoted the way he's being promoted people thinking he's an industry plant and trying to use their reviews and their criticism of the album as a way to kind of put him down and i don't think that's fair because you're not judging it fairly because you're already coming in it with prejudices and biases because you don't like him you don't like how he's been pushed or whatever it may be or the people behind him I generally do think there's a talent there. I generally do think there's somebody there who's going to be a big, big star and somebody that people are going to look back on and say, oh, wow, that album actually wasn't as bad as we thought it was. That album uh, maybe set the precedent for this and that. I think it's going to go there. I just hope he does. He does. He doesn't take the criticism too much to heart and actually sees it as some somewhat constructive because I do think he has the ability to put good albums together because the album before this was pretty decent. I forgot what the name of it was called. Let me see if I can get up on there. I remember listen to that and i and i didn't actually mind it i thought that was actually quite enjoyable but this one i haven't revisited at all since i listened to it i, I think apart from the pharrell track and a couple of other tracks i haven't really listened to the whole thing but what did he did before that oh that's the yeah um th th that's what they all say where he's hanging at the car window that album was really 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 decent way more than this um and i just think he needs to cut down the tracks he needs to work on the song structure and stuff, but it's not a 2.9 in my opinion. Not at all. That's completely um, out of order in that respect.